might have been joking, bro. That is just too far, bro. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make a video about Aiden Ross, so if I was to make a video on the streaming platform Kick. But I guess if you're gonna get the big picture of what I'm talking about today, I gotta talk about both. So Aiden Ross was once one of the most popular streamers on Twitch. He had been making waves on the streaming community with his collaborations with popular streamers and celebrities. But moving to this new streaming platform Kick is where his downfall is beginning. I'm going to Kick this week, I'm gonna be doing Omegle, watching live sports, watching movies, right? Phone calls, doing unlimited. We can literally watch together. I can jerk off of the no, no, I'm still celibate. Remember that last bullet point because that's gonna come up again soon. Going to kick this week. You we as an advisor and as like a co-owner of a platform can't control Aiden. But before we get into that, welcome back to the Asher Show. You can see I got a new setup here. I'm currently in the US, California to be exact. I'm gonna try and document my journey over on Asher Plus, my vlog channel. So if you're interested, go follow me over there. But now let's talk about the streaming platform Kick. Website that if you look at its homepage, looks almost identical to Twitch. A platform that was created by former Twitch streamer Trainrex. His Trainrex now, he's currently live gambling. Trainrex used to be one of the biggest people on Twitch and he was making a lot of money from gambling streams. He was also sponsored by the crypto gambling website stake.com. But when Twitch banned slots and gambling, Trainrex wasn't happy and decided to create his own platform. In December 2022, he made this tweet longer and he said, Twitch has deemed most of us irrelevant as a top 5 Twitch creator in the world for 16.5 months straight and currently a top 10 Twitch creator in the world. I have a good understanding on Twitch. He goes on to say that they have your cake and they eat it too. Twitch says they need a cut of our pay because it costs too much to run a stream. But then they tell Amazon and the media that they are profitable. Twitch takes the high percentage split of any platform in the world and then he goes on to talk about the 70 30 splits on other platforms like YouTube and he talks about how kick his new platform is gonna have a 95 to 5 subscriber split with 95 of subscribers income going to the streamer he says I choose to work with kick because their investors are willing to listen to create an input to make their platform better so train Rex, with the help of the crypto gambling site stake.com decided to make this brand new platform kick so now we have a streaming platform that's trying to rival Amazon, which is currently being funded by an online crypto gambling casino, which is great. Train wrecks can start to gamble online again. People like Karina Koff, who also do gambling streams, join the platform. Top categories, casinos and slots. The gambling section of kick.com is always number one to the point where people are calling it a Twitch ripoff for gambling. This is a loss leader for stake.com to be able to advertise their business in a way that gets around the bans on the mainstream platforms like Twitch and YouTube. This is just another way to do sponsored gambling content. So now we're pretty caught up. February 2023, Aiden Ross announces that he's going to be testing out Kick. I'm going to Kick this week. I'm going to be doing Omegle, watching live sports, watching movies, prank phone calls, doing unlimited. We can literally watch porn together. I can jerk off with it. No, no, I'm still celibate. But if I wanted to, we can do whatever the fuck we want. There's no terms of service over there. You guys can say whatever you want on my channel. Nobody can get fucking banned. Seems like fans were excited to see him go to a new platform, but then they realized the community wasn't the same as Twitch. And Aiden Russ soon started facing backlash for his content and behavior on the platform. Watching all this kick stuff continue to unfold because I think Jake Lucky put out a tweet calling out Aiden Ross because he was like openly streaming porn on kick.com. Days ago, Aiden Ross decided to blatantly stream porn to his viewers on kick. Not sure how nobody is talking about this. What do y'all want to watch, bro? I don't support porn. Like, I don't, I don't support this shit. The fuck do y'all want to watch on here, bro? I don't support this shit. I don't condone it. I don't support it. Come here, come here real quick. There's no fucking way. What? You're just having this on stream. Is that bad? What? Why don't you just like rate videos for me? Like, I'm not up to date with the law, but I'm pretty sure showing porn to minors is some sort of federal crime. Sanity laws and minors. Federal law strictly prohibits that distribution of obscene matter to minors any transfer or attempts to transfer such materials to a minor under the age of 16 including over the internet is punishable under federal law if you didn't, so didn't even get banned for showing minors porn on kick that's crazy showing minors you're one porn. of the you're one of the co-owners aren't you you're like one of the main people that speaks on this i'm i'm and an yet, advisor yeah i'm pushing oh, for so I'm you didn't advise them to fucking possibly ban the guy for showing I, porn to minors i did for I, advi little bit? I advised him to give a 24 hour and i chewed him mm -hmm. out when i called him and he can confirm this Okay. Okay. Well, it's great. He, 24 hours? 
You think you should yeah. get banned only for 24 hours for showing minors porn? You, you as an advisor and as like a co-owner of a platform can't control Aiden. But that's not it. Aiden Russ uh, and Trainwreck actually, both of them were Quack. streaming the Super Bowl on kick to hundreds of thousands of people. So I saw last night a couple of big streamers rebroadcasting the Super Bowl in real time to hundreds of thousands of people. Their justification for these actions was that their new streaming website didn't have a term or condition that prohibited such actions. But there's a big problem with that. It is still copy copyright infringement. It doesn't matter what the terms or conditions were on that particular platform because the NFL is the one who owns the copyright. So unless they got permission from the NFL to restream the game in real time, that is likely copyright infringement with damages in the millions and millions and millions of dollars. The only hope that these streamers have is that the NFL does not pursue legal action because if they do, they could be in real trouble. I'm pretty sure he didn't get the NFL's okay <clears throat> to stream to 100,000 people. He's gonna get sued. Do they not have moderators on their platform? But it gets worse because Aiden Russ has been hosting Dare streams. Here is Aiden Russ telling someone to cut someone's throat for 20K. Bro, if you slit his throat, I think I'll give you 20K. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He's kidding, it's fine. He's kidding, he's kidding. And here's another clip where Aiden Russ is trying to get people to put stuff in their unconscious girlfriend's faces. Okay, you're gonna pull the blanket off her, pour it all on her face, listen. And then they're gonna be like, wake up, bitch. And you're gonna grab the bag and go, smack, smack, smack. Yo. Go back to the room. Nah, go back to the room. Yo, Karis. Not only that, but he's also going through Amigal and fat shaming people. Ew. Ew. You were like 6X, bitch. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty's a fat bitch. You're a fat. You're a fat. And this was recently. Aiden Russ says his pronouns are kill slash then when talking about trans people. I can't play it here because the YouTube clip got deleted for hate speech. But Aiden Russ isn't the only person. Someone got banned for one day for getting belated on stream. Only a one day ban though. And like, I'm not sure if you've seen any screenshots of like kick chat so far. Oh yeah, it's bad. They're awful. Yeah, like, I, I don't know why- kick in that circumstance with three Ks at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you would- So bad. Like, I get like, you know, there's like people who see the appeal of like, you know, I can do whatever I want, the freedom, but I feel like it's it's so like detrimental to actually building a community because you're driving so many people away. Yeah. Like, I don't see like the smart business model in that. Yeah, nor do I. I honestly don't know how long kick is going to last because Mixer didn't last as a platform, but it seems like other creators might get involved with joining kick. Speed's going, everyone's going to kick. I'm just gonna tell you guys now, I don't give a fuck. They're all going, bro. Think about it, the platform cannot fail if everyone goes. But that's about it. Rumble, Kick, all of these weird offshoot streaming sites. Basically just gambling adult sites for streamers banned on every other platform. There's no terms of service over there. Kick does have a terms of service. It's been modified from as of February 1st, 2023. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my other channels. I'm gonna leave the links in the description for those and I'll be back very soon. We can literally watch porn together. I can jerk off with you. No, no. What do y'all wanna watch on Pornhub, bro?